Here I am with my Chilo pack, work sack, 45 liters large, and coming in just under four pounds. I'll tell you what, the more I, time I spend with this pack, the, uh, I'm definitely a big fan of lightweight packs, and it's a big advantage of these Chilos is they're super lightweight, considering that this pack has an internal frame in it. It's not just a pure rucksack. And this is kind of frame. Can lose some weight if you want. It's got a insulite pad inside, so I can take that out, lose some weight if I needed to. But it's kind of a nice feature, both for some padding on the pack and as well sitting around on, standing around on, potentially for a bivy. This pack also has an internal frame, as I mentioned. It's a it's got a sheet of plastic in here that's bendable, shapeable. And uh, with this plastic frame, it's also got a, an aluminum stay that's bendable, conformable to the spine. So I'm really liking that. Got that pretty well adjusted. And uh, yeah, together, the foam towards the back. Pretty sweet setup. The piece here that goes over the uh, frame that holds it in place is also a stash pocket. Good place to put the wallet so you don't forget it. Put the car keys. Whatever it is you want to keep tucked out of the way. And yeah, this is 45 liters before we extend it. If we extend it all the way up, it goes up to over 60 liters tall. It's pretty cool. They've offset the ties here, the grommets on the upper part of the pack. And the neat thing about this pack are these, these buckles in that it's really easy to, to shift everything around. Right now I've got it set up, the red and yellow guys here on the side for compression. So I've got a couple of those. I've got ice axe carriers in the bottom. If I want to put my crampons on the outside, I can got extra straps I can attach those on there really easily. The hip belt comes off super easily. It's got Velcro inside. Hold it in place. And I wanted to uh, use this pack for hauling. Wanted to get rid of the waist belt. Easy enough to do that. Just take that off completely. Remove the buckles here. Attachments on the side. So super easy pack to strip down from a great carrying pack. I can remove the interior frame if I want, remove the hip belt, set it real nice for, for hauling as well. I personally like this for alpine climbing. We'll do a quick demo here, a little bit of a pack job, getting this guy ready for an alpine day coming up. So I'm going to start out, plan on carrying the rope. Rope one of the heavier things, last thing I'll need. I'm stick that down here in the bottom of the pack. I generally like to have the weight nice and low if possible, low and out of the way. So I tend to carry my crampons inside the pack. Again, like the weight down low as well as relatively close to the spine. I feel like the pack carries a lot better that way. So I've got my crampons down in there. I'm going to stick my harness along with the lay device down here in the bottom. Nice. And my buddy's bringing part of the rack. He's bringing the screws. I'm going to bring the, the gear that we're going to need for mix climbing. So I'm going to grab the swingage. Got that all set to go. Put that down in there. And what I've got for a mix rack here, including the pitons. Bring these guys along. So I've got crampons, rope, fair bit of the mix rack. Tools fit real nice. Super simple system here. Lightweight. Buckles there. Some cordage there. And 
last few things. Got my helmet. Sometimes I'll set that on the outside of the pack. I think I have enough room. I'm gonna put the helmet inside of this one. My extra down jacket that I'm gonna bring along. Throw in my first aid kit. Down jacket, I'm gonna tuck that inside the helmet somewhat. Mix gloves and ice gloves and another stuff sack. I'll have a third pair that I'll use for the approach. One thing I do like to do is bring an extra pair of socks for the climbing. So I'm going to hike in in one pair of socks. And then once we get there, I'm going to switch into a dry pair so my feet are as warm as possible inside the boots. I'll throw a couple more things in here in the morning. Probably a hot thermos of coffee to go along for the day. Top lid, it's very uh, adjustable as well. I'm gonna go ahead and stick in there. It's got two pockets actually. I'm gonna stick, I'm not planning on using the headlamp right away in the morning, so I'm gonna stick the headlamp in the internal pocket. And then the external pocket, I'm gonna stick my face warmer in there. my lip screen in, bring my camera along for the day, and I still got plenty of room in here for all my sandwiches and other goodies to pack up tonight before I get going. Top lid, I can adjust where we put these buckles on it, but I've got it set up now so they're a little bit lower, this thing's not even close to being maxed out at 45 liters. Compression straps here on the sides. Looking good. And looks like that's a pretty nice, feels like 35 pounds. And my Add my thermos in the morning. This should bring the weight up to about 40 pounds once I get everything in there that I need. But top straps here up by the shoulders, those seem well adjusted. Shoulder straps there. Waist straps. Belt straps nice and snug. And it feels like it conforms my body really nice. Great fit. I think we're about ready to go. Excellent. So Chillo Pack, this is the work sack, 45 liters. I gotta tell you, I'm gonna be using this pack quite a bit this winter for all of my climbing days up in the high mountains. And uh, hopefully there'll be, be quite a few of them. Okay, see you out there. Hard to imagine we've got a lack of wind this morning. What do you think? Sweet! <laughs> <laughs>